Hello everybody. This is Fifi. I'm showing you my Ancestry DNA results. It costs about $99. Um, I did this a few months ago. I'm just logging into my account. It's very um, user friendly. And I'm just going to go ahead and show you uh, the places where it says I'm from. Hold on. I was quite surprised to find out that I didn't have any Asian uh, blood. But yeah, so we're going to find out what I am mixed with. A lot of people always ask me what I'm mixed with. So here we go. Um, there was recently an update, some type of improvements. And they added more um, uh, to my ancestry results. So here we go. The first thing, um, that's my family tree. That's the Martin and Salas family tree. And my DNA is from 12 regions worldwide. The first one is the Cameroon, Congo, and Western Bantu peoples. 25% of that. And that's over in Africa. So when you scroll down, it tells you a little bit about the region. You can read um, about the region. It gives you... The full story, you can click on the link there. Um, so I'm just going to go back and then go in and you see that I am 20% Nigerian. And then the uh, areas that are highlighted in green, it's uh, I guess that's part of Nigeria or that is Nigeria. So I'm going to scroll in and then, yeah, you see that it says Nigeria. So I'm going to go to the next one. Is it Benin and Togo? I'm 17% of that. That's over in Africa. So right now I'm just Africa, Africa, Africa. And we got Ghana, Benin, Togo. And then it tells a little bit about that region as well. And then I'm also 15% Scottish. So we're going to go over here to Scotland. Over there by the United Kingdom and, and all of that. So I am very shocked to find out that I have that in my blood. Um, I thought I was more German um, than Scottish. So I'm also 8% Mali. That's over again in Africa. So we're back over here in Africa. So I got my ancestors over there. And these are all places that I plan to visit um, before my uh, soul leaves this planet. So it would be great to go ahead and do some traveling on this channel. Then I'm 6% Ivory Coast in Ghana. I plan to, uh, oh, look at Liberia. Liberian girl. Y'all remember that from Michael Jackson? So yes, I am 6% of Ivory Coast in Ghana. Michael Jackson was singing to me. And I am 3% England and Northwestern Europe. We got the Europe back in here again with Wales, England, Belgium, Luxembourg, you know, and, and all of that. Uh, and then you can go ahead and scroll about that region as well. And I'm just going to go to another one. I am 2% Senegal. So we're back in Africa. And that's right back over there on the west coast of africa so a lot of my ancestors are from the west coast of africa which you know is not surprising and i'm one percent german europe one percent germany so and the next one is um yeah that tells a little bit about the the germanic uh region i am also northern africa and this is, I'm trying to scroll in, girl. Okay, then it gives you the names of um, the cities or towns where I'm from. Libya, Niger. My son was in Niger. Um, he's actually uh, in the, uh, what do you call it? He's in the military. So he was there for a few months. So he was back home. And I'm also 1% Swedish. So I'm from Sweden and Denmark, which explains why I love the Swedish red fish. I'm just kidding. But yes, Denmark and Sweden, I'm, I'm mixed with that as well. So you would never be able to ask me again what I'm mixed with because you can go onto this video 
and it will tell you a little bit of what I mixed with. I'm gonna do another one just to see what the difference is with another company. And then the last one, we have the Southern Bantu peoples, which is South Africa. We got South Africa, Botswana, Zambia, and Mozambique, I can't even say it, Madagascar. So when y'all see the cartoon Madagascar, think of Fifi. Yes, hunty. Think of me because that's where I'm from. So you can get your family tree, DNA. It, tell, it gives you a list of people that you're related to by blood. I have so many um, people that was listed, oh, excuse me, as my cousins and half sisters and stuff like that. So my DNA says three genetic uh, co uh, countries or counties, um, Texas. I'm surprised because now I'm back down here in Texas. I knew my roots, uh, Virginia and over there in the East coast, because that's where the slaves were brought, you know, when they, they came over. And I assume that's where my other ancestors that, that are from, um, England and Switzerland and Sweden and all that came over to that, uh, East coast as well before just going all over, you know, uh, the United States. You see that you got Pennsylvania, Jersey, Virginia, that's where they were originally. And then they just kind of spread out. And then you got some over here in Texas, Louisiana, and Arkansas. I know my grandfather's family um, is from Arkansas. I've been there before. Uh, I don't believe that I've been to Louisiana before, but I am now residing in Texas in that purple area. So, Yes, that's where my ancestors, you know, ended up um, living or raising their families. So, yeah, this is just a little bit about where I'm from, what I'm mixed up with. My daughter kept asking, Mama, what am I mixed with? What am I mixed with? I said, girl, two black people. OK, that's what you mix with. But I know she wanted a more definite answer. So I just went ahead and did this. Um, I think there's another one called like, I can't think of the names right now, but I'll do, like I said, I'm going to do another um, test with another company to see if there are any differences. And then I'll be coming back to show you guys what the differences are. So I just wanted to go ahead and give you um, a little bit of information as far as my ethnicity you know, my race or whatever. I don't know anything about, you know, the people over in Africa, their culture. I don't know what they do. I've never been over there before. I was born here um, in the Midwest and pretty much America is all I know, but I will be exploring and going to find out about, you know, all the other people or areas um, that I have had ancestors. So it should be fun. Hopefully I get to do that on this channel. Um, if you have any questions, that, those are my, my relatives. It'll tell you who your relatives are and who you're related to and the percentage. The first one that popped up was my, um, my half sister. My dad has a daughter uh, by another woman. So yeah, she popped up first. And it's only for the people who've already done the Ancestry um, DNA test. So if you have a family member that doesn't show up, that means they they didn't do the test. Doesn't mean that they're not related. So yeah, you can just go to um, Ancestry.com. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description box below. Again, if you have any questions, you can go to Ancestry.com. Um, if you have any questions about me specifically, you can go ahead and leave a comment down below. Thank you much. I can't even talk now. Thank you so much for watching. I had to take the bedtime mode off my phone because, you know, it's past my bedtime right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and end this video. And um, I'll see you guys in the next. You can create your family tree. And that's very helpful because it helped me to dig and to find out a lot about my great grandparents, which I didn't have a lot of information on. They died. Um, most of them died before I was born, my great grandparents. I think there was one that was still alive um, and I met her a few times. So yeah, again, thank you so much for watching. Everybody have a great day and I'll see you in the next video.